How are you struggling to get a good start on F1 2021 and constantly feel like you're getting mugged? Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Today, I'm going to be analysing and showing you how to get the best starts possible on F1 2021 and be as consistent as you can. So, as you can see on the screen, I'm splitting these up into three different sections. So, first is getting a good launch, second is your reaction time, and the last part of the video is going to be the rundown to turn one, so you can gain at the, those positions and set yourself up for the race. So, you can see here an example with Sebastian Vettel. We will play this through and then we will analyse it afterwards. So let's break down the start before the lights go out, just before the lights go out. So you see the lights here and you can see that I've got the revs at 13,000 RPM. That's kind of my, kind of my muscle memory, what I do. And you can see how much throttle I've got on the pedal as well. So that's about three quarters of the way. I saw people having it like three bars. That makes the revs too low and you're just going to get absolutely mugged at the start. This before the lights go out. So remember RPM and the throttle. So this is the second phase of the start. So you can see here, we're still slowly applying the throttle because you don't don't want to go straight down straight away because you'll just spin up the rears and get swamped and won't go anywhere so we're still slowly putting our foot down and also i have deployed the ers mode to overtake this is kind of a habit i've got but it gives you that extra boost heading down into the first corner but this is not straight away as soon as the lights go out but gradually as i'm starting to put the pedal down the throttle down that is give us the extra power heading down into the first corner so that was the dry here is an example of getting a good start in the wet so in the wet obviously it's a lot harder you don't want to get wheel spin you need to find the grip but you can still see here it's still around 13,000 rpm and you can see my throttle is a lot less that's because i don't want to spin up the rear tires where i would have it in the dry that will end up spinning the rear tires you won't go anywhere and you just end up getting absolutely mugged at the start which of course we want to avoid because we want to maximize the start as much as physically possible so so let, let's look it after the lights go out you can see here that i have deployed the ers mode if we look back at the video the distance between when i launched and then pressed the overtake button is a lot different between the dry and the wet you just got to be a lot more careful in the wet because you don't want to a you don't want to put it in the wall and b you want to find traction so you can get that good start and get on with your race because the start can define your race if you get a good one you could be on for some good points if you're in a slower car in a fast car like this like we're here in the mercedes then that can really cost you if you get a bad start because you're going to have to fight your way back through and then all the time you're doing that you're losing time to your rivals at the front so that's the way let's look at reaction times now the, probably the most important part of getting a good start is your reaction time to the five red lights on screen now is an app that you can download on your phone it's called lights out and you can basically test your reaction time anything lower than three tenths of a second is good Ideally you want to be between two and three tenths of a second and and then if it's higher than that then just keep practicing that it's a free app you can just carry on. So let's talk about the rundown to the first corner. Now this is where I kind of be a bit tactical here. We've got a long run down in Hungary. To me you want to be on the inside so you can send it down the inside like you can see here. It's a bit like opening a door in a sense that you're waiting at the inside there's a risk you could get pinched but at the inside you just wait for everyone to come over onto the racing line and then you can send it again quite a few places as you can see the difference here to actually going on the racing line and trying to get around the outside we haven't gained as many positions now going back to the canada canada of course is a much shorter run to the first corner than hungary and you can see as Bottas just shows why the risk you can take on the inside forcing Verstappen off is kind of the balance in that. As you can see here, this was just going around the outside and we, 
we just end up getting boxed in so you don't actually end up gaining any places but there is certain opportunities that you can have maybe go around the outside I hope you can take what I've told you in this video on board keep practicing and I promise you if you follow these steps especially the run down to turn one you will be getting more good starts more and more consistently on F1 2021 if you have enjoyed make sure to like I will see you in the next one